Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us again as we present the 2022 State of the City. These are the voyages of the Starship Kirkland, our continuing mission to seek out new ideas and new partnerships so that everyone in our community is safe, everyone is welcome, and everyone belongs. Make it so. The shared mission ahead is shaped by the shared journey of our recent past. Long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away, before COVID struck or George Floyd was killed, I gave these presentations in person to the Chamber of Commerce. In 2019, I told you the state of the city was booming. It was the Chamber's 100th anniversary and we had hit an all-time high of 511 members. We marveled at the amazing housing opportunities and jobs springing up in Totem Lake and downtown. We celebrated Google's LEED Platinum second phase and Ferret and Spur Park. And we anticipated the opening of all the incredible shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues blossoming throughout our city. 2019 was an exceptional year for Kirkland, but 2020 was poised to top it. In February of 2020, I told you that we had thousands of housing units and millions of square feet of commercial development in the permit pipeline. Google started construction of their phase three project in Houghton. Northwest University and Evergreen Health began significant expansions. We started the largest set of infrastructure investments for fire stations, parks, streets, sidewalks, and utilities in Kirkland's history. We designed major bicycle and pedestrian safety improvements for 100th Avenue Northeast and Juanita Drive. We started a new turf field capping an enormous stormwater retention vault at 132nd Square Park. The village at Totem Lake was completed and new shops were clamoring to get in. Kirkland Urban opened for business and commercial and retail space was snapped up at a record pace. In February of 2020, I told you that the state of the city was focused. We focused on creating housing of all types and adopting missing middle housing codes. We focused on building a women and family shelter in Kirkland. We focused on public safety by investing police Proposition 1 funding in community service officers and dedicated funding for human services. In February of 2020, the USS Kirkland had launched we had set a course to maintain our small town feel while embracing the metropolitan energy that was attracting new jobs and new residents. We worked hard to make it so, and our mission to the moon and the stars was underway. Kirkland was now a regional force to be reckoned with. Kirkland, we have a problem. But on Saturday, February the 29th, 2020, everything changed. Like Apollo 13, our mission catastrophically transformed from a triumphant moonshot to simply surviving. The Life Care Center in Kirkland was overwhelmed by COVID-19, and we became the first epicenter of the pandemic in the United States. A tidal wave of closures, cancellations, and loss soon followed. Emergency declarations were enacted, schools closed, City Hall closed, events were prohibited, people lost family and friends, lost jobs, and lost housing. Kirkland's journey through that unimaginable first year was documented in a video presented for the first time to the public at the 2021 State of the City speech. I encourage everyone to watch that video on our website again as the somber second anniversary approaches and keep everyone who has suffered loss from the pandemic in our thoughts and prayers. But 2020 was not finished. Even as the pandemic raged, a second cataclysmic event altered a trajectory forever. On May the 25th, 2020, George Floyd was killed by a police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The cries of I can't breathe forced all of us to confront problems too long ignored structural racism and the role of police in our society. Marches throughout Kirkland protested the death of George Floyd and others killed by law enforcement. The city council embraced the message of these marches, Black Lives Matter, and it was time for change. On August the 4th, the city council adopted Resolution 5434, 
affirming that Kirkland will act to ensure the safety and respect of black people and dismantle structural racism in our community. Our 5434 commits us to evaluate everything we do as a city and make any changes necessary to ensure the safety and respect of black people in Kirkland. 2020 taught us that no journey, however bold and noble in intent, can succeed without equity and justice. And Kirkland's mission to be the best place in America to live, work, and play cannot be accomplished until we are a safe and just community where everyone belongs. Live long and prosper. In 2020 and 2021, the Kirkland Council and city staff rose to meet the twin challenges of the pandemic and the need for social justice. Through heroic measures, we safely returned the USS Kirkland home. Our new mission, helping our residents and businesses recover and prosper. Human services. We focused first on those who needed help the most. We created comprehensive COVID resource pages on our website. We mailed multilingual postcards with emergency lines for food and assistance to every address in the city. We distributed over $1.2 million of Federal CARES Act money to human service organizations in Kirkland for food, rent, and scholarships for families in need. In August of 2020, with the New Bethlehem Place, the Sophia Way, and Salt House Church, we celebrated the grand opening of our new permanent emergency shelter for families and women. In 2021, we were one of the first cities to adopt an American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA, spending plan, and are one of the few cities actually allocating funds. We sent nearly $500,000 in checks to our community for utility bills and rental relief, and no Kirkland resident we know of has been evicted for failure to pay rent because of COVID. We expect to provide another $1.5 million in direct ARPA support in 2022. Business support. We also assisted Kirkland's small businesses who were devastated by the pandemic. We launched our own Kirkland Cares Small Business Relief Fund, distributing over $1 million in CARES Act funding grants to 207 businesses and nonprofits in Kirkland. We provided free business and nonprofit support to navigate the complex landscape of relief programs. We created shoplocalkirkland.com, a digital main street that connects shops and customers. 2022 ARPA initiatives will include an expanded shop local initiative and a new Kirkland currency, parks. The Juanita Beach Park Bathhouse and All Ages, All Abilities Playground were completed and reopened. Totem Lake Park and the new boardwalk connecting to the Cross Kirkland Corridor was completed and opened. The Parks Department hosted creative community events, including virtual programming, citywide scavenger hunts, the Harvest Festival, and a renewed polar bear plunge at Houghton Beach Park. We restored parks and green spaces through the Green Kirkland Partnership. Transportation. We completed the Totem Lake Gateway Project, repaving the roads and creating wide, inviting sidewalks with enhanced lighting connecting the CKC to the vibrant, thriving new village at Totem Lake. We replaced the Cedar Creek culvert while planting more than 4,200 native trees and shrubs that will last for generations. We renewed our sidewalk, bicycle, and safety investments throughout Kirkland, making our community more livable, walkable, accessible, and connected. And the Totem Lake Connector Bridge is rising majestically over Totem Lake Boulevard and will be completed in 2022. Sustainability. The events of 2020 reminded us of how fragile life is and how connected and interdependent we all are. Nothing is more fundamental to that connection than our relationship with the Earth itself. Recognizing there truly is no planet B, we adopted the city's first comprehensive sustainability master plan. 
Our plan provides a powerful blueprint by setting out clear environmental goals and identifying actions to fight climate change and protect and improve our natural resources, to make Kirkland a green and healthy community where environmental justice and equity are achieved. As one example, we now purchase 100% of the energy used in city facilities from Green Direct, a local renewable energy resource. We will not rest until we have achieved a sustainable environment for today, tomorrow, and all future generations. Community safety. The safety and well-being of our community will always be our top priority. We are fulfilling our promises to Kirkland voters who passed Kirkland Fire Proposition 1 in November 2020. Fire Station 24 near Juanita Elementary was completed in 2021 and opened for service in January 2022. The new Fire Station 27 in Totem Lake and modernization of Fire Station 22 in Houghton are both progressing on time and on budget. Our first class of Fire Prop 1 firefighters graduated from the academy and joined the line this year. To make our 5434 a reality, we funded an ambitious community safety initiative that includes new community responders to help those experiencing behavioral health crisis. We also funded a DEIB manager, an equity gap analysis, a body-worn camera pilot, police accountability initiatives, and much more. In 2021, our Kirkland Municipal Court Judge John Olson opened the community court that diverts low-level, nonviolent offenders from jail and connects them to the needed services that change lives. To boldly go where Kirkland has not gone before. And now we are back on the bridge of the USS Kirkland. Our amazing crew, this council, is assembled and we are ready for blast off. There is so much more we could say about city actions that help the Kirkland community survive two tumultuous years. But now is the time for us to thrive again. The City Council has set a bold mission to achieve the community we want to be. Our Captain's Log is the City Work Program, available on our website. We'll work passionately to create housing for everyone. We'll partner with Arch to bring a major affordable housing project to Totem Lake near Fred Meyer. We'll support King County's efforts to purchase a La Quinta Inn for permanent supportive housing in 2022. This critical facility for the chronically unhoused will save lives and improve our community. We will make community responders and a new regional crisis clinic for those with behavioral health emergencies a reality. We will invest the next ARPA funds we receive in innovative ways to provide low-income housing, mental health crisis support, and help end homelessness. We will build a greener Kirkland where everyone can play. We will complete 132nd Square Park. We will complete the renovation of David Brink Park. We will explore a park ballot measure in 2023 to build a new aquatic and recreation center for our residents, build new ball fields, play areas and trails, and acquire much needed open space to give us all room to get out and get active. We will make Kirkland a national model for walkability and pedestrian and bicycle safety. We'll explore activating a transportation benefit district to fund safer routes to school and active transportation projects. We will start construction of multimodal transportation projects on 100th Avenue Northeast and Juanita Drive corridors. We'll ensure that Sound Transit and WashDOT deliver on their promises to meet Kirkland's mobility needs and build new I-405 ramps in Totem Lake and the 85th Street Station for bus rapid transit. We will finalize the stationary plan and the capital investments necessary to create a thriving new walkable urban center with high-tech jobs, plentiful affordable housing, sustainable buildings, and shops and restaurants linked by transit. The station area will be anchored by a world-class Google campus and become a vibrant, eco-friendly model of innovation that is deeply rooted in the history of the land, the people, and the cultures of our community. Finally, we will launch a comprehensive plan update to set the vision for Kirkland through 2044. In our vision, we see a green Kirkland with abundant parks, public spaces, trail systems, and environmental stewardship. 
We see fitness and recreation facilities and programs for all ages, abilities, and cultures that are so vital to our community's physical and mental health. We see the city's transportation and utility infrastructure strong and reliable to support our growing city. We see a sustainable future that includes clean air, clean water, clean energy, healthier food, expanded housing options for people of all economic means, and an equitable and just society. We see thriving businesses that are the lifeblood of our community and economic engines that drive jobs and prosperity and make our community vibrant. We see a Kirkland where we identify systemic barriers to equality and we dismantle them together. We see a Kirkland where we celebrate our diversity and our shared humanity and where everyone knows they belong. The voyages of the past two years have tried us and tempered us. We have emerged wiser, stronger, and more connected than ever. The USS Kirkland is ready to launch again. The engines are warming and the steam is rising. The countdown to ignition has begun. Together, let us boldly go where Kirkland has not gone before, into the bright future that awaits, where everyone is welcome, everyone is safe, and everyone belongs. Ladies and gentlemen, as John Luc Picard would say, engage. 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 The state of the city is engaged. Thank you.